Oh, my dear. Indeed, will say that you only born Ketia Kornaza. Igbo people say that whatever name you give to your dog, that is what others will call him. My people, it has gotten to the extent that a whole giant of Africa, the citizens of giant of Africa, are being turned into slaves in African countries. African countries. This time around, we're no more talking about Europe. We're not talking about uh, happenings in um, United Arab Emirates. We're not talking about happenings in Europe and America, in Asia, where Nigerians are bought as slaves and used to do all manner of um, horrible things or, you know, treated anyhow as if they are worth nothing. This time around, we are talking about African countries like Bene Republic. You heard me right. Nigerians are now in order, in a bid to go find a better life in Bene, Bene Republic of all countries. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is how far we have gone down. So in order for Nigerians to at least leave the shores of the country and look for at least better life, work, get a job where the currency has more value, it has gotten to the extent of going to Bene. And guess what? Guess what? Just like every other place where Nigerians troop to go and uh, look for better living, Bene. Our own African countries, our own fellow African brothers are now using Nigerians, are now exploiting Nigerians, are now enslaving Nigerians in their country. And mind you, this is not only happening in the Republic. I'm going to allow you to watch a video, okay? And then I'll come back to tell you one experience that I was part of. This is true. Please watch this video and listen to the brother. Our presidents, ministers, all the honorables, and everybody. My name is Father Bajiz from from Exchange. Recently, I was in Badogo prison. I just want to explain myself in English. I'm not talking in. Yes. I'm based in Lagos, as an existing, I'm based in Lagos, working as a security company. A colleague of mine that worked under me for seven years was the one that I came in to tell him that there is a job that has come and apply, which I did. And to call the story short on Christian Day, the job I applied for, which in the first. I pay a lot of money, it's not property, it's not the job that was supposed to me. When I got to the place 8th of May, 2023, another thing was introduced to me, which is called Hillman. And I told him that if this was a coming for, after selling my property, everything, I was not interested. I was waiting to collect my money. Before the police came to arrest us in front of the and as it was done to good thing, after investigation of complainants, we locked them, not to no body finality against you, and no dependency on the family body, no evidence, nothing. Before I was have to come, I got to prison. So I was in the prison now. This is this is this is some prison. I attend court last November a lot of money. I attend court last November second. The chief judge told me that my case is one year. I should come back. December seven. It's no hearing. I'm going to fight to court December seven. It was not killed me seven years. Fourteen not. That's the reason why I cried to Nigeria to come to my rescue. 
on this race, my wife fell sick and finally died October 31st. My Mutimuna wife, Muti Zivre, died October 31st, 2020 on this race. And December, November 2nd, when I attend court, I explain everything to, to him. My wife died uh, October 31st, and I attend court uh, November, November 2nd, two days after, which I explained to, to, to them. Still, they still jail me seven years. I attend court last November. They still jail me seven years for doing nothing. No complaint, no evidence, no nothing against me. So please, I pray to Nigeria to come to my rescue. To come to my rescue. To come to my rescue. Mention that we are Nigerians. Nigerians are crying in this country. God bless Nigeria. God bless our president. Thank you. This is one of the country. All these people you are seeing here, all of them are Nigerians. Eighty percent of us who are innocent. We share this video. We need our government intervention. This is one of the country. All these people you are seeing here, all of them are Nigerians. Eighty percent of us who are innocent. We share this video. Morning. All Nigeria, good morning, the President Ahmed Tunubu. Good morning, all the Home Minister. Good morning, Ushumone, my daddy. I'm pretty for all of you for my rescue and the rest Nigeria in Benin. Because they called me to Benin. See, there is work. I am a driver in Lagos. I have my own motor. The Kokurupe, I used to drive. I saw the bus as they explained the business, as they explained the work to me. I said, okay, it's good. I came to Benin and I discovered that not the work that as they explained to me, I saw. They are not, they are not telling me QNET. So, that is it. That is the cry of a fellow Nigerian in Bene prison. For what? What did he do? He said, when he discovered that the, it was a scam that brought him to Bene Republic, you know, he decided, because he had sold everything he had in Nigeria, and there was Jackpotting to Bene Republic. <laughs> Jackpot to Bene. <laughs> Kotonu. <laughs> Ah, I'm not trying to run down any country, but hey, my goodness. <laughs> Who no, 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 go, no. <laughs> I seen the Japa to Benny. Hey, insult upon injury. Excuse me. So, and when he got there, he saw that it was a scam. He decided to ask for a refund of his money. And what happened? Before he knew it, the police came and arrested him over nothing. These people are doing this in collaboration with the police. The police came and arrested him and put him in prison. These people are working with the police. What is the Nigerian government doing about this matter? This QNET. This is not the first time I have heard about this QNET. Everybody in this West African region, the locals, know about this unit the nigerian embassy in Benin republic the nigerian embassy in burkina faso will not tell you they've not heard about this unit because we have a, a lot of nigerians have been rescued rescued from their trap what is the nigerian government doing about it nothing nothing my brothers and sisters if you see anybody Anybody telling you that he's going to any African country that there is a job, please tell the person not to go. You better stay back, rather stay back in Nigeria and be managing. But who will blame anybody? Who will blame anybody? 
with the rate of hardship in Nigeria, with the rate of hardship in the country, who will blame anybody? When a tuba of yam is selling for 10,000 naira, a tuba of yam, a cup of beans, you keep selling for 2,000 naira, a small cup of beans. Who will not want to go to where it's, it's better? And so, because Benin Republic, Burkina Faso, they are now better. The currency has more value than the Naira. That's why our citizens are now being lured into slavery. Because that is the downfall of Naira. And some people are still... My, 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 my annoyance is that some people are still so blind. They can't see. And the president was bold enough to say that the protest was just was just caused by few individuals that are troublesome that are being manipulated by politicians in some quarters it means from the president's speech that he doesn't believe that things are so hard and nigerians can do anything he does not believe in your cries and you're telling me there is hope he doesn't believe in the cries of Nigerians. Nobody is hearing anybody's cry. These people, this this wool, you know, this log of wood covering their ears, they are not hearing the cries of, of, of their fellow Nigerians. They are not hearing the cries of the citizens. They are not hearing it at all. But I don't blame them. Yes, I don't blame them. I just pity the victim. Innocent people that are suffering. Imagine. The second guy sold his uh, kookwe. I mean, they call it the small boss. He sold it because he does a job in Benin Republic. Okay, enough of that. How about those criminals? Who is coming after them? People go come out. People go come out and complain. Yes, the Nigerian embassy is not doing anything. The Nigerian government is not doing anything about it. The Minister of Foreign Affairs is not doing about it, anything about it. Is it not a foreign country? My dear, I don't want this, uh, to stay too long on this video. I just want to bring this to our notice so we can continue to count or know how far it has gone wrong with Nigerians. Thank you so much. I'll see you again in my next video. Don't forget to like and drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.